From our vendor and invoice columns, we need to create a unique list. Then for each invoice, we need to take the references, create a unique list, and list those references horizontally. Now before Office 365 Insider Edition, these are the crazy array formulas that we had to do. There are four different array formulas we need to create, including this crazy difficult array formula. Now you can download this Excel workbook and check these formulas out. Now in most versions of Excel, this is still how we have to do it. But Microsoft has invented new dynamic array formulas that work with the new Excel calculation engine. As of July 25th, 2019, it's only an Office 365 Insider Edition. Now Microsoft keeps saying they're going to release these new dynamic arrays to all of Office 365 soon. But so far, they haven't done it, hopefully in the next few months. Because here's how easy it is. If we want to count the unique numbers of vendors and invoice, well, we use the amazing unique function, highlight the two columns. Now close parentheses, and if I hit the F9 key, I can see a unique list of vendor, invoice, vendor, invoice. So there are two records. Now this formula needs to count. So we take that resultant array, and we say how many rows are in it. And so there's our formula for counting unique records. To display those records, well, we use the same unique. And when we close parentheses, it automatically spills and shows a unique set of records. If I come over here and change this, it'll automatically update. Control-Z. Now, getting the correct reference and displaying it horizontally was the hard part down here, and it's the hard part here also. We'll start by using the filter function, because we want to filter and show just the references for whatever the vendor and invoice is, comma, actually backspace. We're going to copy this formula, so I click and hit the F4 key. I need to lock that range, comma. Include just means which records do you want to include? Open, open parentheses. Please look through the vendor column, F4. Anytime you're equal to whatever's at the head of the row, close parentheses. We'll multiply invoice column F4. Are you equal to whatever that invoice is? Close parentheses, close parentheses. Now, the thing about this filter is if I hit Enter, it'll spill. And I need a unique list from those. Notice I hit Enter. It's gray up there. The only cell that actually contains the formula is the top one. F2, we'll get a unique list from that. Close parentheses. It's still going to spill in the wrong direction. But now we come to the top cell, and we'll simply say, hey, take that vertical range and transpose it into a horizontal range. Now when I hit Enter, look at that. It totally took those references for that vendor and invoice and showed them horizontally. Now we can simply copy it down, and we accomplished our goal. We counted the unique records for vendor and invoice. Then we displayed that unique list and listed the references horizontally. Time for another bonus formula. In the include argument, because these are actual numbers, we could run a test like this. Add the two columns and then say, are you equal to the addition of these two numbers? Hey, if you like these crazy array formulas, check out Excel Magic Trick 1190. If you're new to dynamic arrays, check out Excel Magic Trick 1516.